all new Land Rover LR2. Welcome back to Tech 101. I'm Eric Hesseldahl, Senior Technology Writer here at BusinessWeek.com, and this is our weekly video podcast. We answer your questions about technology, so keep them coming, would you? Tech 101 at BusinessWeek.com is our email address, and we do our best to answer your questions in plain English. So our question this week comes from Steve in Manhattan. He wants to set up a wireless network. I've decided I want to set up a wireless network in my apartment, but I want to make sure that any information of mine that goes out over the air is safe from hackers and nosy neighbors. Any advice? Smart of you to ask, Steve. Uh, it's an important question. You wouldn't believe how many times I've seen wireless networks set up badly, and it can be a bad thing. I've seen demonstrations that security consultants have given me where they can vacuum up the username and password as you're logging into your email, um, and you can imagine if, you're, if they can do it with your email address, they can do it with your brokerage account, they can do it with your banking account, whatever you may happen to sign on to online. If your network is configured incorrectly, I don't know, I shudder at the thought. <laughs> because wireless networks essentially send your data over the air. And over the air means radio signals, and radio signals can be theoretically intercepted by anybody with a a lot of brains and some smart antennas. So let's talk a little bit about some basic rules to set things up. One, you want to make sure that when you get your wireless router, that's what these guys are here. This is a Linksys router and this is an Apple router. I'll talk a little more about that in a minute. But uh, you want to make sure that when you get the router out of the box and turn it on, you don't just work with all the default settings that come out of the box. You don't want to leave the password unchanged. You don't want to leave the network name unchanged. You don't want to um, use you know, the, all the default open settings. Basically, you want to get in and learn how to change these settings because it's important. They seem very, very arcane and difficult at the outset, but in fact, they're really not. And so I'm going to show you just some basic three or four simple rules for setting up your home wireless network that will make it not impossible, but make it less easy for somebody to kind of invade your home network, as it were. So let's take a look right now. So I'm going to take a look at the configuration screen first for this Linksys router over here. Very simple. Uh, you call up a web browser, and uh, once you're connected, um, you give it the IP address. And usually, by default, it's 192.168.1.1. That brings up this configuration web page, and that's how you basically change the settings on the router itself. And so you'll see that there's lots of different settings here. Router name, host name, lots of things like this, time zone. Uh, but the thing that I'm most concerned about right now is just wireless. Out of the box, you want to change this first thing. This is the SSID. This is the name that the router uses to introduce itself to the world to the extent that you even want that to happen. I'll get more about that in a second, but what you don't want to tell the world is what brand of router you have. So you want to change this name. This is the default name out of the box. This is one of those things. Now, am I going to call this Eric's Network? No, I'm not going to call it Eric's Network because I don't want anybody to know who owns it. So am I going to change it to, say, uh, the address, 1221 Avenue of the Americas? No, I don't want to do that because I don't want anybody to know where it is. I don't want anybody to have who might be looking at the information about this router as it's being broadcast to the world. I don't want to give any information about myself, who I work for, where I happen to be, or anything like that. So give it a random name that doesn't mean anything ex to anybody but yourself. It might be... Um, name of your dog, Rover. Maybe that's not even a good idea. Maybe it's a pet you had in childhood um, or just some initials. The initials of my elementary school or Rose Hill Elementary School or something like that. Something that makes sense just to you. Throw in some numbers, 1976. Throw in some numbers. Make it oblique so that you can't tell whose network this is, or exactly where it is. You want to make it a little hard to find. 
Now let's talk about encryption. These routers are kind of sophisticated. What they can do is scramble the data that goes between your computer and the router itself on the fly. Good and fast. Make it hard for anybody who may be able to intercept that data to break through and make any sense of it. It makes it look like a random stream of data all the time. So, now, strong encryption is good encryption. Weak encryption is bad encryption. Well, you have an option here of no encryption, weak encryption, or strong encryption. Now, which ones are the strong ones and which ones are the weak ones? Well, WEP, Wireless Equivalency Protocol, do not use it. <laughs> Just take it off your radar screen and I really recommend not using it. When it first came out, when wireless Wi-Fi was still fairly new on the market, it took almost no time at all for security researchers and hackers to figure out how to break it. Do not use WEP. What I highly recommend you do is one of the WPA. That's the stronger. After WEP was broken, the wireless industry went back, found some stronger encryption. I suggest WPA personal or WPA2 personal. Pick one of those and use it. Now, also use strong, long passwords that are difficult to guess. Don't use your kid's name. Don't use your name. Don't use obvious words that anybody who knows you well, say your neighbor or who knows you casually, can guess. So make them long, eight characters, 10 characters, 12 characters, get some letters in there and get some numbers in there. But also make it something that is easy to remember for you uh, that makes a certain amount of sense, something that maybe only you and people 